Hey guys, Bruno here. Welcome back to Lawn Mowing Simulator. Here we are for episode number two. Uh, I've done one job off camera because that's a job that we did in the preview version um, of the game. So I thought I'd just do that so you guys aren't seeing the same thing over and over and over again. Um, so we're back. Um, upgrade HQ we can't do. Purchase HQ we can't do. Advertisements, uh, edit company, edit plan. Let's go to advertisements. I would like to do... Some extra advertising. Now, what do we go? Social media for one day, or local flyers for two days? Because local flyers we're going to get is that 750, 800, or whatever ish RP. Whereas with this, we only get 210, so 420 in total. Let's go. Let's go the social, uh, the local flyers, I should say. That'll get us getting some more um, RP. Let's quickly. Uh, let's repair our... So let's just refuel. Let's not worry about any other repairs at the moment. So today we've got the old Nook Cottage, uh, the paddock. We've got the Jefferson Garden. And we've got the LeBrook Garden. So, 580, 170 RP. 505, 265 RP. Or 690, 135 RP. So much RP for that one, but it's probably not as many obstacles as there is here in the Jefferson Garden. Let's go for the Jefferson Garden, just for the RP. We'll head on in and um, see what it's like. I'm still not sure if we, we're going to be able to hire people um, or not to do other contracts while we're doing our own. I'm not, not quite sure, so that's one thing we're going to have to just wait and see. See what happens. Right. Let's load on in. Let's um take a screenshot somewhere nice. Maybe where this garden gnome is. Out there, there we go. Uh, maybe even there, just in case, because I don't know what camera we're gonna get at the end. And there. What a, oh, jeez. What a rich ass man. Look at this. Look at these cars. Oh, I'm super jealous now. Should be charging double. There's seven objects around today. Okay. I know there's a few over here. Seven objects? Are you sure? Is this the only area we are mowing? Oh, there we go. Tennis ball. Another tennis ball. Another thing over here. Was that dog droppings? Uh, okay, can't see anything else. Go for another quick run around. One more thing. Oh, there it is. Another tennis ball. Awesome. But the quicker you do that, the more of a bonus you get, which is awesome too. Uh, cutting blades, minus 50 pounds. What's that for? Maybe to fix them? I don't know. Okay, so I don't remember the cut height. Five to six centimeters. Uh, let's go five. Get our revs up. deck down, get started, we'll head around the outside for a couple of laps, to go right to the edge but not actually hit that fence if I can avoid it, see with the, looking at this with these hedges, maybe we can do hedge trimming as well, that sort of stuff later on, uh, it'd be good if we could do I don't know, weed spraying, Fertilising um, and all those sorts of things. Maybe landscape designing stuff. I know not everyone, as far as what mowing does to landscaping um, business side of the business as well, but a lot of them do, so it would be pretty cool if we could add that to the game as well. Hard to 
say now because we're stuck under this tree. Okay, that does have a collision on it, collision box. Banging a little bit, but not too bad. Oh. So, hopefully, you guys have seen episode number one and have already entered the giveaway. We do have one code to give away for Law Mowing Sim. If you haven't seen episode one, go back and check it out and then make sure you enter the competition. That way you, you get a, your chance to win a free copy of Mall Mowing Sim. Back around the outside. Um, also, let me, let me know what you guys would like to see in the game uh, alongside we'll see the Mall Mowing side of things. That way the devs can actually you know see what other people's ideas are and Potentially, you know, look at implementing them into the game. I know they've they've got a lot of um, ideas for DLC in the future, uh, but what that DLC may be, I'm not quite sure. But if we can give them some ideas, and that may help us to get some more content and give them some ideas they maybe haven't thought of yet. As I said, the one main thing I would like to see is procedurally generated maps, so randomly generated. I think that would be awesome, so that way once you've done all the, the story missions, um, then you can come back through and just continue to mow, and no two jobs will be the same. Uh, the other thing I guess is hiring staff would be cool. Um, obviously I don't know if we can, but we can actually select the job select the employee at the moment so maybe that's something they're going to add later on maybe that's something that we can we can do once we get to a certain rank maybe we get people coming to work for us yeah that would be cool we can pay them to do the job get the money but they also have a set of skills we can increase their skills so that way they don't we don't get as many um, fines for them completing the job so I'd still like to see them make mistakes, you know, whether they cut the wrong height or they damage the lawn or, you know, just bits and pieces, and then the more we upgrade their stats, the better they become. I think that would be, that would be pretty cool. Um, the other thing I want you guys to let me know is, would you, would you prefer me to have you guys here the whole time, so do one lawn per episode? then have you guys here the whole time, or should we do two to three lawns per episode and maybe show you the first four or five minutes of the lawn and then throw in a quick time lapse and bring you guys back when we're about 95% and you guys let me know if you prefer that or you prefer to see the entire cut no, that's completely up to you guys I would like to get through the career mode first and then maybe look at the challenge mode once we've gotten through the career. What do you think through there? So um, yeah, you guys let me know what you guys would like and I will uh, try to do what I can to keep the majority happy I suppose. Not everyone's going to agree on the same thing, not everyone's going to be happy either way so we'll see what I can do. Seven and a half percent, so we're getting through it slowly. Didn't look like that big a job when I went around the first couple of times, but because we're still on a, a little mower, technically, it's going to take us that little, little bit longer. So this one's got the most. Um, RP, but it doesn't seem to be that difficult. I thought RP would be because of um, the difficulty level, but maybe not. Maybe it's because of the area, maybe it's because of the house. This guy's obviously rich as with the cars he's got. Richer than me. My tiny little mower. Okay, around the big pond with 
big gnome in it as well. Certainly interesting. through us flying then. Note to self, don't try and bump the trees. Just wanted to make sure I didn't miss any of the cut around the tree. There you go. It's a bit better. careful with these turns, I don't want to turn too tight and damage the lawn. There should be those trees all done now so we don't have to fight to try and get around to those again. So for those of you who have been subbed to the channel for a while, I do apologise about the lack of content. Um, I did have my lawn mowing business, as some of you would probably know. Um, I have actually since sold that. Um, I've returned back to full-time employment um, in the mining industry, which is making it uh, difficult again to do recordings and stuff, but um, when this current pandemic, as you guys know, when you get off with a full-time job with uh, really good money, it's pretty silly to knock it back. So I sold uh, my clients off to another local law mine guy and um, sold some of my equipment and that sort of stuff but still kept the majority of the good stuff just sold all the other stuff I wouldn't need anymore so uh, that's one reason why I've sort of haven't done much content the other one was because of school holidays and um, honestly just really had zero interest in recording anything like my computer literally sat here for a week two weeks whatever it may have been just either turned off or I turned it on to do something and then just lost interest and couldn't be bothered and just sat there. Um, so yeah, kind of having to get my mojo back and get back into content creating. Which has, obviously with me not creating content, it does make it harder for me to start again um, with the way that YouTube works. But if you're producing content daily, you're going to be hitting more people with your recommended videos and that sort of stuff so and also use guys as subscribers you know if you're just going to your home page as you log into to YouTube it will show you people that update well, upload every day that you subscribe to and recommend their videos over anyone else first but because I haven't really been doing anything obviously I probably wasn't really there Yeah, so trying to get back in the swing of things. Hopefully I'll be good to go for a little while. Obviously still back to full-time employment is going to make it hard, but I'm going to try and uh, record extra content on my days off just to help cover that, like I did previously when I was in mining. In mining so um, yeah, we should be, able to, should be able to get it to work. I guess I've also um, got back onto GTA Online again. Uh, playing with a bunch of friends on that, which has been pretty cool, and Red Dead Online as well, so games that I used to play quite a bit before, well, not so much before creating content on YouTube, but just to play games for me again, I guess, um, it's one of the things, so back into, into doing that, just enjoying, you know, playing games for fun, not having to record content all the time. Yeah, GTA Line. GTA Online is one of my sort of favourite go-to games always. It's, it's a lot of fun. Especially when you're, um, especially when you're, you know, you're part of a crew and you've got people that are willing to help you do things. Whether it be, you know, MC business sales or heist and that sort of stuff. It's really cool, but... Yeah, 
yeah, back into the simulation style stuff too, so more mowing sim, car mechanic sim is coming. Um, should be, my first episode should be out for that. I had that game for probably a week before I produced any content. As I said, I just really had much interest in it. Well, honestly, I did, I really wanted to play it and record content. I just, yeah. Honestly, couldn't be bothered with the whole COVID lockdown thing here as well, with, um, and my partner and, and that sort of stuff, the kids being home, kind of makes it hard to record content, that sort of stuff, so it's another issue that I had to sort of battle with. So, um, yeah, let me, go, let me know how you guys are going with um, the whole COVID situation, where you guys are from. Yeah, I'm just travelling, I know over here in Australia at the moment where, where I am, we're having a couple of hundred positive cases a day and everyone's freaking out. It's just, it's been quite crazy where in lockdown, where I come from in New South Wales. Um, sort of, people have been out in the public knowing that they're positive and still spreading the virus around, which that is a bit frustrating, but I think it's just something we're all going to have to learn to deal with, honestly. But for us, you know, we get couple of hundred cases and we start freaking out and I know obviously other countries around the world are getting thousands of cases a day and they're not even in lockdown. You know, it's, um, it's quite interesting to see the way that our government sort of deals with these things, the way they freak out really, really easily. this bloody pond makes things difficult. So once again for me, like the way I'm mowing this would be the way I'd mow in real life. Like up and down and you know, I cut cut more lawn, lawn off into little sections. So I could have just kept going like left and right here, up and down, but it just seemed pointless. It's a lot of time turning around. So if I just make it up and down this way, it gives me a longer run. And then when I go left and right again, now it's going to be a little bit shorter run. Which will be good. But 14 minutes into this one already. So this is quite a big job. It didn't look that big. But it just it takes, it takes a while. Um, one thing I did test as well is I'm trying to do striping, um, different cut heights, so I've cut at two and a half centimetres and then five centimetres or four centimetres or whatever it was and it just, you can't tell the difference really um, from a distance. If you get up close you can, but you can see that the grass is just a little bit longer but it doesn't really give you a striping effect as such. So yeah, that's one thing that they could add to the game. Future DLC, something like that. Get through this. So with the other mower, I'm not quite sure. Um, so I've never done it, but I think if the bags do get full on the back of the mower, you actually have to empty them somewhere. I think there's bags near the trailer or something for us to empty, um, like the cuttings the other mower, as I said, I've never actually used that long enough to get it full, so I'm sure some of you guys may be using the, the other mower, so if you are, let us know how that works. time lapse it, maybe even just do a cut, whatever you guys prefer instead of a time lapse. Then bring you guys back at the end, that way we can get a couple of launches done per episode instead of just just the one. Let's get this 
same side of the pond done. We've only got one tree to contend with right now, which is good. We probably don't need to refuel the mower every after every job, but it's just something that I guess I I do in real life as well. Like whenever I was to mow a lawn, I would you know, pack everything up, get to the next job, pull everything out, and refuel everything just to make sure it's all full to get through that job. Especially with the the mower that I have, I've got the Toro Toro Time Master, 30 inch walk behind. Uh, self-propelled personal pace system on it so it's, um, it's a great mower but the fuel tank um, is not very big so I'd have to I wouldn't get through two lawns with one tank I'd always have to top it up after each job little section now, nearly at 90%. Gonna have to battle with another bloody tree again. Let's try and get around this guy nice and tight. Not even a zero turn, we still get around the trees really well. That little turn there is not something I would do with a push mower, obviously. But with a ride on like this, I would. You know, that way you sort of not turning too sharp, not going backwards or forwards to do a turn around. With the push mower, obviously, I'd just go up and then just turn it around and go straight back down again. But not very likely to damage the grass with a push mower, unless it's um, extremely wet. some thick stuff in here, isn't there? Hogging us down on this side. Little bits of grass everywhere that we've sort of left behind when the engine starts to bog down it doesn't cut as nice as it should. Just off to the left just here you can see there's little, little spots of long grass. and we should be finished unless there's little bits we're going to have to go and touch up just to get through that 99.5% I think it is I'm going to go close I think oh, there we go, awesome done 20 minutes or just over 20 minutes it's taken us so the faster you get out there and pick up the stuff off the ground, the faster you return the mower to the trailer, the more bonus you're going to get. So I don't, I don't see any bags here, but obviously because we're not in the right mower, I don't think. I still hate these cameras. Back this thing up. Boom! There we go. Lovely. But these are different cameras again. Very frustrating that they're different cameras before and after. Like how are we supposed to get a good before and after shot? I don't know. Makes it quite difficult, but. Alright, we'll see what we got out of that. We should go up to newcomer level 3, which would be good. We might even be able to upgrade upgrade our mower. That would be 
the bonus as well. So when driving a vehicle with a collector, look out for the grass bags and a level you can empty your clippings into. There you go. See, because obviously we didn't have a collector on it. There was no bags, but I have seen that before. All right, 13, holy crap. $13.80 for collisions. Didn't even come up as penalties there. That's that's really weird. Um, ground check time bonus eight eighty four. Ground check earnings twenty bucks. Cutting time bonus nine pound twenty three. See no valuables recovered. It's one thing I'm gonna have to try and look out for. Uh, updates local fires one hundred and forty RP. You come a level four. Awesome, an elite level five. How much challenge two is unlocked? Which challenge three? Lovely, lovely. Let's quickly check um, this guy. Five grand. It's the next big one. Uh, deck type side discharge. Nine point eight kilometers. See, I don't know if I want to go with that or if I want to try and. Save up for, well, I'd prefer to save up for the Toro, obviously. Ah, uh, mate, oh, wrong button again. Don't press escape. Let's go. Hard exchange. This guy? Can we do that? Yeah, we can't. Uh, I wonder why they're not unlocked just yet. Maybe because they're not up a high enough level. Yeah, I'm not sure, because they're not, not visible, obviously. Um, full repair, so it's fully repaired. All that stuff. We've only got a thousand bucks still, so that's another issue. Um, no attachments. Yeah, so it's not showing that we can buy these guys. It doesn't say that it's locked or anything. Interesting. Right, so we can actually apply for a two and a half thousand dollar loan. 437 weekly repayment, which isn't too bad. I wonder if we get that, can we afford another mole? Let's have a quick look. Except. Done. Now let's see if we can come into here and go part exchange. There we go. So we can go to the Steiger Tornado. Uh, 108 centimeter side discharge, rear wheel drive, 15 liters, 9.8. 122 centimeter side discharge, zero turn, 13 liter capacity. I'd like to go with the Patterson ZTA1. It's a bit bigger, but also it's faster, zero turn. Um, doesn't say cut height. Let's go with the let's go with the Patterson. Boom! There we go. This thing's gonna be a beast for next episode. Old Nook Cottage. We've got uh, Garden Villa Brook and the Hilltop House. Seven hundred and ninety pounds, which is the big money one in the big. RP. Looks the same as the last house we just did, doesn't it? Really does. Anyway, guys, we'll end the episode here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, as always, smash that like button, leave a comment, and let me know what you think of the episode and the series so far. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Bruno. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.